Hi everyone, I'm Dana Brown, and today we're going to work through the Zojo Desktop Quick Start. First, since we're making a desktop application, make sure desktop is selected and type in Simple Browser as the name of the application, since today we're going to make a simple web browser. Now you're in the main workspace of Zojo, and we're going to start dragging out our controls that we can use for our user interface. First, in the library, click on the text field icon and drag it to the top left corner in the layout editor. As you get close to the edges, you will see alignment indicators that help you position the control correctly. Now click on the default button icon and drag it to the top right corner of the window. Drag the HTML viewer icon to the remaining empty area on the page. Resize this control using the selection handle so that it fills most of the window below the text field and button. Resize the text field by clicking it to show the selection handles and then click the center right handle and drag it to the right until the alignment guides tell you it is close enough to the button. This is what your finished layout should look like. Now we're going to set the properties. At the upper right, click on the inspector to change the view and control properties. Click the title bar in the window to select it. In the name field, change the name from window one to browser window. In the title field, change the name from untitled to web browser. The text field is where a user enters the URL they want to see in the browser. So on the window, select the text field control and change the name from text field one to address field. Now make changes to the locking so the text field get lar gets larger or smaller as the window resizes. Next, we'll need to set the properties for the button. On the window, select push button one and rename it to go button. Now make changes to the locking so that the button stays attached to the right side of the window when it's resized. And change the caption from OK to go. Last, we're going to set the properties for the HTML viewer. So we'll select it and change the name from HTML viewer one to web viewer. And we'll change the locking so the HTML viewer continues to fill the window when it's resized. Our app is almost complete. Let's double click the button control so we can see the event handler options. First, we'll select pressed and press OK. Then we'll add this code to the code editor. What does this code do? The URL that the user will type into the text field is stored in its text property, address field.txt. Then we want our code to display the web page in the web viewer, which is done by calling the load URL method and sending it to the URL the user typed. So let's try it out. Let's go to the Zojo, Zojo showcase and see how that looks in our web browser app. As you can see, we pressed go and the showcase has loaded. We can scroll through it or navigate through the menu. And that's it. Our very first Zojo app is up and running. If you'd like to learn more, try out the desktop tutorial. And you can always try our other tutorials and quick starts for the different platforms that Zojo supports.